What's going on Shady people? Shady Penguin here and I am so pumped, I'm excited, I'm ready. We are bringing you the very first episode of our Storm Silver Egg Lock. And before we get started, if you can, as always, please show your support by showing some Shady love to that like button right below this video because we're going to kick this thing off and this series is going to be strong. I have faith in you guys. You guys sent me eggs. We had over... Uh, the first time around, we had 2,000 eggs. Now we have around 1,700, 1,800 eggs to hatch during this egg lock, and that is so awesome. I'm so pumped to be using the Pokemon you guys sent. Uh, so definitely show your support in the comment section, in that like button. It really does. Uh, it's gonna be. This is gonna be. This is gonna be the best LP that's ever been on the channel. It's really uh, like the second or third LP on the channel, but it's gonna be like the best one. Here's Lugia swimming under the water, and we're gonna jump right into this. Now, something that you should know. Um, this is an egg lock, so similar to the Nuzlocke rules, except. Uh, all the rules are going to be in the description, but basically with the Nuzlocke, you have to catch the first Pokemon you encounter, you must nickname every Pokemon, and if a Pokemon fates, it is considered dead, it can no longer be used, it is boxed forever. So, with that in mind, what you do is when you catch that Pokemon on your route, uh, what you actually end up doing is you trade that Pokemon in as a token, and uh, you get an egg in exchange, and you rare candy that newly has Pokemon up to the same level of the Pokemon that you traded it in for. So if you catch level five Rattata, then you level up your newly has Pokemon to level five. So we're gonna go ahead, we don't need any information. We don't need to know nothing. We don't need to know nothing. I need to make sure that I'm recording the sound, otherwise I'm gonna cry very hard. Nope, I am recording the sound, beautiful. Da, 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 da. All right, I, I'm, I'm gonna open up a notepad too right now because I'm gonna keep track of all the voices that I do. Um, all the voices that I do. All the voices. So, <clears throat> what is this? I don't know who this is, so I'm not going to give a voice yet. Hmm. Looks like the sun is descending in the sky. Why aren't you... Why, why aren't you... There you go. So this would be called... This would be what is called twilight, wouldn't it? So, oh, because it's actually... It's like twilight right now. It's like twilight uh, right now. We got Professor Oak here in his snazzy yellow jacket. Hey! Well, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to Sacred Gold or Storm Silver, a hack with an expansion of features. My name is Professor Oak, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before we go any further, I'd like to tell you a few things you should know. Notice how his eyebrows are pointed inwards, but when I do that voice, my eyebrows always go the opposite way. Um, let me show you a native Pokemon. Here we got a nice little Meryl. The Johto and Kanto regions were known for only having a fraction of Pokemon within its borders. But large-scale migration has brought a great variety to the region's fauna. There are new challenges awaiting you, and a great amount of differences in how you'll raise your Pokemon. So basically, uh, new Pokemon in this game that aren't normally found in uh, Sword, Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy, or are you a girl? Won't you please tell me? I'm a dude, dude. So, just so we know, Oak equals bad Roshi. Like a bad old Roshi. Not exactly Roshi, but like a bad old Roshi. So, yes, I'm a boy. Yes, I'm a dude. I'm a dude. But I'll tell you my name right now. You don't gotta... By the way, I'm gonna try to be laying off the uh, speed up button as much as possible. Um, some episodes may open up or close with a grinding montage. And, uh, because we don't... Sometimes we're gonna just gonna have to grind between episodes. We don't want to be caught off guard like we're in our fire red. Rest in peace, that game. Alright. Your name is Shady? Yes, that's what I just told you. Shady, are you ready? Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. Let's go to the world of Pokemon. I'll see you later. If you ever want to find out some of the changes, check the documents that should have come with your game. Most, if not all, the information you need should be contained in there somewhere. But play as you like, for you might enjoy playing the unknown. Either way, be sure to have fun, Dre. So, just so you guys know, I'm going to include um, in this... In the description of this episode, you will see the play along link. It will be a download to a zip file that will have uh, the game, the emulator, and all that stuff in there with the save file that you just have to load up and start uh, and get your own thing going. You know what I'm saying? Just start it, just get it, get it done. Um, not entirely sure. Actually, what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to save the game really quick. I can't even save the game. I'm sorry. Let's go to the PC and check the mailbox. I have something from Lyra. What would you like to do with this? Toss it in the trash. I love I love Pokemon. So Lyra says she loves Pokemon. I don't know how I'm going to describe that voice, but we're going to go ahead and head downstairs. We got mom here. What is mom going to sound like? I don't know what mom's going to sound like. Let's find out. I love the music in this game. It's so good. About time you woke up. Professor Elm wanted to see you. Here's your things. Bam! Four menu items. I hear Johto has changed a lot in the last few years. You should be careful, Shady. Here, take your running shoes along. Running shoes right away. I like that. 
You'll probably want your bike and music player as well, Shady. So we get our bicycle and we get our music player right off the bat. Nothing to even, oh my goodness, Game Boy sounds right there. Game Boy Luke, confirmed. Generation two remix. I'm sure you know how to use these. Oh, I hear Elm has a gift for you. All right, so there we go. Elm has a gift for me. We all know what that gift is. It's a nice little starter Pokemon. So we're gonna go ahead and save really quick. Actually, first we're going to um, change the text. Oh wait, hold on. I, I, I gotta change my frame too. I think I like, uh, where is it? Where's my frame? Where? There it is, woo! Love that frame, it's so nice! Um, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna save really quick. One minute in the game, we're gonna save, it's saving a lot of data. Yes, we're speeding up our saving process. I'm terribly sorry for that, but that's just so that I have some way of doing something. Yes, that's right. So look at this twilight, I love the way this looks right now. Woo, I'm glad I'm playing the game right now. So it uses my computer's clock, I'm guessing, for all the time-based events, that's nice. Good job, Trey. So there's Lyra, and there's her Meryl running into me and just confuses anything, and now just go over there. She's just gonna go back home, I guess, because she just doesn't want to talk to me. We're gonna go straight away. We don't care about her. Look at this shady character over here. I'm not gonna give him a voice yet, because I don't think he deserves it. I'm not even gonna read what, I'm not even gonna read out loud what he says, but he's gonna shove us! What a jerkwad. All right, let's go ahead, let's go inside. We are here, Professor Elm. All right, hold on, give me, give me a second. <coughs> All right, here we go. Hi, Shady. I've been waiting for you to arrive. I've been curious about how Pokemon feel walking outside their Pokeballs. I was hoping I could have your help with the tests. So we are going to help Professor Elm, who sounds, uh, Elm is nerdy. So we have Bad Roshi, and then we have Nerdy. Slash Sicky Vicky, because that's actually where I acquired that voice. Sicky Vicky from Disney Channel. Oh, hey, I got an email. Uh, huh, okay. Hey, listen, I know a person named Mr. Pokemon who finds all sorts of crazy stuff. He says he has something, but we're so busy with our research. Can you pick it up for us? You can take one of the Pokemon of the machine. So it wasn't really a gift. He's actually giving me a Pokemon just to run an errand for him. Unbelievable. But as you guys know, this is an Egglock, so our starter Pokemon really doesn't matter that much. I'm still going to go ahead and uh, for, for nostalgia's sake, I think I'm going to pick Chikorita because I always pick Chikorita as a kid. I always pick Chikorita. Plus, we're not going to get stuck with it, so it's just fine. Shady received Chikorita from Professor Elm. Yes! Right like that. Give a nickname to the Chikorita you received? Yes! We're just going to nickname you. We're, every Pokemon we catch, we're going to nickname the same thing. We're going to nickname them an SP token. And that's just so uh, we can trade in these tokens uh, for our eggs that we're going to hatch. So that's the reason why I'm going to be nicknaming them. Look at Chikorita following me. Oh, boy. Is SP token the name you want to give? Yes, it is. Automatically walking. I like that. How do you like walking with your Pokemon? It's not bad, is it? You can take it all the way to Mr. Pokemon's house. If your Pokemon gets hurt, you should heal it with this machine. It's so easy to use. Just check the PC on my desk. Mr. Pokemon goes everywhere and finds rarities. His house is past Cherry Grove City. Go north a little past Cherry Grove. I'm counting on you, Shady. All right, so let's go ahead and head out. But wait, we're going to get stopped. No voice, only voices for main characters. Shady, I want you to have these to help you with your task. I received some potions. That is fantastic. So we're going to go ahead. Pokemon are weak in the beginning. Don't hesitate to use a potion if you think it is in danger. Uh, just so you guys know, the Nuzlocke rules do not start until we get Pokeballs. So if we do faint for any reason, it actually does not matter in the beginning. We're going to go ahead and we have Lyra here. Lyra's voice is probably going to sound an awful lot like the mom's. Maybe we can make her soft-spoken. We'll make her soft-spoken. Shady, you got yourself a Pokemon. I gotta say, it's really cute. When you walk with it, it'll become more friendly. You should turn around and talk to it sometimes too. Oh, that's right. Why don't you show it to your mom? See ya! So that's Lyra. Lyra is soft-spoken. As anything. I like Lyra a lot, to be honest with you guys. I like her. I think she's a cool cat. She's a cool cat. We're gonna go show our Pokemon to our mom, as Lyra just stated, because otherwise we won't be able to leave the town. Oh, Shady! That's a cute Pokemon you have. Professor L must have given it to you. Oh, Professor L has a task for you, you say. What kind of task? I see. That sounds a little difficult. But when someone makes that kind of request, it must be important. Oh, that's right. I completely forgot your Pokemon gear. Poke gear came back from the repair shop. Here you go! My parents must be like, what is this kid doing in his room talking like a female? Oh, my lanta. The Pokemon gear, or Poke gear as it's often called, is what every trainer should have. Guess what? You can use the Poke gear to make a phone call, too. Do you remember how? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And in fact, I'm so insulted that you asked me that question. I'm not reading the rest of your text. Because that's just rude. 
You guys can read it if you want. I'm not reading it. You're done, son. You're done. Let's go. Let's carry onward. Let's get the heck out of here. We got our nice little Chikorita. Okay. Graphical glitch. That's fun. Um, don't know why that... Why the heck did that happen? Well, we're good now. Okay. That was really weird. I guess sometimes that'll happen in this game. Um, did I just find a leaf? Oh, there's a leaf. What does that mean? Is that those golden leaves? SP token is looking at this way and smiling. I... That's really weird. I don't know. I guess maybe I found a leaf on it. Let me just see. Because I know that there's the golden leaves in this game. No, no leaves on it. Alright, that was really weird. Okay, we got tackle and growl. It is an adamant nature. <laughs> Too bad we're not he keeping you, Chikorita. Too bad. Alright, so we showed our mob our Pokemon. We should be able to head out of town now. Um, oh, there's Professor Elm. Wait one second. Oh, my Lancer, we just want to go ahead and get hatch our first egg. That's the goal. I almost completely forgot about this. Here, I'll give you my number. Bam, I got the professor's number. <laughs> Late night calls, you know what I'm saying. I'll call you if anything comes up. Great, thank you. Appreciate it, Elm. I really do. I really do appreciate it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go... Ooh, Route 29. Remember, our first encounter does not count right now because we do not have Pokeballs. So let's go ahead. It is a bit of... The ultimate HM slave. And uh, we have SP token right here. We're just going to go. We're actually going to try to get a little bit of experience here. Especially since we're so close to town. We can actually um, maybe get a level or two. So that we don't get completely destroyed by my rival. And uh, that'll be good. That'll be a good time. That will be a grand old time. Let's go ahead. Come on. Tackle again. Tackle that little boy, won't you? Um, yes. You tackle again. That's fine. That is fine. Boom shakalaka. There it is. So there we go. SP token. Boom. Gaining 33 experience. And I'm glad I'm right near. Oh, there's the graphical errors again. I wonder why that's happening. I'm really curious. And it's really bothering me. I'm going to heal my Pokemon. And I did use the speed up button. Mainly because I'm frustrated about those graphical errors. Don't know why it's happening. No idea. So let's go ahead and... Continue onward and upward. I actually kind of want to stay near the town until I gain the level, to be honest with you. A centric Chikorita, go ahead. Show him who's boss. Give that man a nice little tackle. That's not more than half. That means we can't even to a KO you. Come on. Oh, we score the crits as I put my finger firmly on the speed up button, just because it's just a wild battle. We're fine. SP token growing to level six. I'm going to learn Razor Leaf. Oh my goodness, that is broken. We're gonna go ahead and go for it again. Go for some Razor Relief, SP Token. Let's see this animation. That is top quality right there. That is top quality. It's so nice not having to worry about um, PP. It really is. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Shady Lock was a lot of fun. Definitely had a good time. But uh, we are good now. I think what we're gonna do, oh, there's that graphical error again. You know, this didn't happen before on my first run through. Really interesting that it's happening now because it did not happen on my first. Look, now we're back to normal. Golly. All right, let's heal up one more time. And now we're going to head to town. We are going to head to town um, and find ourselves. Uh, we really want to hatch an egg really bad. So we have a nice little boot off. We're actually just going to run. And there we go. These graph glares again. I promise you guys, as soon as we get to town, um, I'm going to figure out why this is happening. And I'm going to go contact some people. Look, now we're back to normal. Interesting. All right. All right. So let's just go ahead. We're going to head right to town. Boom. And I know this old man, you're not a main character. You're not getting a voice. You're a rookie trainer, right? Let me show you around. Follow me. So we have to follow him. We're forced into this, unfortunately. Oh, please let me show you around. It won't take long, I promise. This is a Pokemon Center. They heal your Pokemon in no time at all. Yes, of course, I know that. And this is a Pokemart. I already know. This is a Pokemon Mart. They sell Pokeballs for catching wild Pokemon and other useful items. So we can get ourselves some Pokeballs so this Nuzlocke can get started, this Egglock can get started. Route 30 is out this way. Trainers will be battling their Pokemon there. If you go a little farther, you'll see Mr. Pokemon's house. So this is a Dre hack, so I know I need my Pokemon a little bit stronger, um, which means I might need to grind a little bit once I hatch my first two Pokemon. This is the sea, as you can see. Some Pokemon are found only in water. 
Not that it matters, because we have all eggs to hatch. And here is my house. As a reward for following me, take this old rod. We already have an old rod, which means we can catch Pokemon in this town on Route 29 and on Route 30. So that is awesome. We're gonna get three eggs. Um, hopefully, as long as we can catch those Pokemon. So let's go ahead. The very first thing we actually have to do is uh, we're gonna buy some Pokeballs. And then not only am I gonna buy Pokeballs, I actually have to go ahead and load up all the eggs because the eggs are not loaded up yet. You don't sell Pokeballs yet, do you? No, I can't get Pokeballs yet. I think I have to go all the way to Pokemon, Mr. Pokemon before I could do that. That is fantastic. Um, we're gonna heal up really quick. And then I'm going to proceed to, uh, we're still gonna hatch our first egg. So what I'm gonna do is when I come back, we will have all the eggs loaded up and we're gonna hatch our first egg and I should have all these graphical issues sorted out. I apologize. I will be right back. All right, Shady people, so we are back after a little bit of struggle. I know it only felt like one second for you, but it was a couple, a uh, couple, almost an hour for me. But uh, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna, I'm gonna show you guys really quick. I have my rare candies up in here, 99 of them right there. Um, I'm sorry, 999 of them. And that's used for when we uh, hatch our eggs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick our first egg. I have uh, these boxes full of eggs. Now, some of, some people, uh, some of you guys may have forgotten to change the setting in Pokegen to, um... Hercules Still Silver. So some of your eggs are gonna have Japanese names. If you look, you'll see a couple of them as I scroll through them. There's a couple of them uh, that are Japanese. The way I'm gonna pick these, by the way, if, if your name is Japanese, it means that I'm not gonna be able to nickname it originally what you wanted it to be nicknamed. Otherwise, I'm gonna keep it the nickname whatever you have it. Um, if it's Japanese, I'm gonna nickname it whatever I feel like. Unfortunately, that kind of uh, makes it un unable for you to realize which eggs are yours, but next time in the next egg lock, hopefully you guys can um, go ahead and Make sure you change that setting when you go to make your eggs. I had made an update video about how to send eggs uh, after I had gotten that virus. I showed you guys in Pokegen, you have to go to tools and then uh, change the hard gold, still silver. So I'm sure with the next time I have an egg lock, I'm gonna do another how to send eggs and I'm gonna do it all over again. And uh, it will have that step in there. As you guys can see, I filled, we have 1700 eggs, by the way, uh, 1700 of them. And we filled all the way up to box 15. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just name this box really quick. We're gonna name this uh, the death box because I'm sure since this is a Dre hack, I'm sure that we're gonna have some death. Um, and we'll also have a uh, token box. This is where we'll drop our tokens when we trade them in. Um, S P. Uh, no, we still want the capital. We still want the capital token right here. S P token. Tokens, ooh, it fits, awesome token. So when we trade in a Pokemon, we are going to drop them in here. Um, and this last box we will leave for just extra Pokemon that we aren't currently using in our party. So we're gonna start on box number one and I'm gonna choose randomly. I'm actually gonna close my eyes and just kind of, okay, we have to make sure we stay in the box though. We're just gonna close our eyes and go with it. Let's just uh, ding around a little bit. I have no idea what I'm gonna get. Let's stop here. Okay, we're all the way, <laughs> you guys are probably laughing. All right, you know, I think I'm gonna use my mouse. I think I'm gonna use my mouse because I can actually click on things like that. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna click on a few and uh, I'm gonna make sure I keep hearing that noise. I'm hearing that noise, good, good, good. Let's stop right there. Where are we? We're in the corner somehow. We're in a Japanese name Pokemon, unfortunately, but we're gonna take that one and that is going to be our trade-in for our starter. Um, we're gonna go ahead and hatch this bad boy right now. Uh, I'm not sure how many steps it's gonna take, but we are gonna fast forward through it. We're just gonna run around, we're gonna run around, we're gonna run around, oh! Here we go. Let's see what our very first egg is for this egg lock. I'm excited right now, I'm excited. Let's see what it's gonna be. It's gonna be, it's a shiny Kabuto. So we uh, are not keeping a grass type. Look at this thing, we were, we were nicknamed you. Look at your green shell, you're gonna be all green. Um, let's see, you're gonna be green, you're gonna have blades. What should we nickname you? This is why I wish the nicknames were there. Um, well, Envy, 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 Jealousy is green. So we're gonna nickname you Envy. I like I like the name Envy. Uh, I like that name a lot. So you're gonna be Envy and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna deposit. Actually, our Chikorita is level seven. So let's rare candy up our Envy to uh, level seven right now. And let's just get rid of this little uh, little guy. What do I wanna learn? Look at, oh, let's look at these egg moves. Yo, these egg moves. We have Rapid Spin, Knock Off, Confuse Ray, and Aurora Beam. We're trying to learn Absorb. Um, oh, look at these moves. Well, my special attack is booty, so Aurora Beam and... Uh, I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna keep, uh, we're gonna keep what we have right now. We're gonna, we're not gonna learn Absorb. We're not gonna learn Absorb. And we have, look at this, our rare candies aren't even going down. Um, I don't know why that's happening, but I'm not gonna complain. So let's go ahead and let's, uh, deposit 
our oh look at this we got our first poco we got a kabuto from you guys all right awesome so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna deposit our chikorita my apologies and uh the um the lock still has not started look at this kabuto following me around oh, i love it i love it i love it i love it so envy is glowing with health that is awesome we're gonna go ahead we're gonna continue on we do not have pokeballs yet unfortunately so what we kind of have to do oh what's happening now old man jenkins I made it. I forgot about one thing. This is another token for me. Take it. The guide Gent loaded the map card in Shady's Pokemon gear. Poke gear. So now we have the town map, which is great. Which is great. By the way, those graphical errors are completely normal. Apparently they are normal in the land of uh, Pokemon hacks. <coughs> Forgive me. So, we don't have to worry about it. So, I'm pretty sure in this episode what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to get to the Mr. Pokemon's house. And uh, we did hatch our first egg, which is exciting, but... Not exactly everything we wanted. Look at Envy. Envy's not shiny anymore. Okay. Well, uh, let's go for a nice knockoff. Let's see how much this does. I'm curious to see how much this does. Uh, knockoff is very weak this gen, though, I just realized. So that's gonna stink, actually. This is not the best of, uh... Not the best of situations to be in. Let's actually look at its base power. Um, what nature is it, by the way? I forgot to totally check. Oh, no, I did check. It, it's an adamant nature. Um, knockoff only has 20. So, actually, Aurora Beam might be a better bet right now to go for. Um, I didn't even know that Kabuto could learn Aurora Beam. I actually think right after this battle, I'm going to go ahead and check to make sure that uh, that is a possible move. I'm actually going to do that right now. Kabuto, Cerebi, X and Y, Gen 3... Um, I'm sorry, Gen 4. Aurora, but yep, it's it's legal, it's legit. All right, cool, so Envy gains 30 points. And we're gonna go ahead and continue onward. Uh, interesting that it was shiny and now it's not. I don't really understand that. But we're actually gonna take all the experience we can get because this is a Dre hack and I don't know what's gonna happen. I have no idea. Uh, should we try to kill you? Let's confuse Ray you. You're gonna hit yourself in confusion. That's fantastic. Let's go for some Aurora Beams. Yes! That Kakuna was just thoroughly confused. We got a potion, which is nice. Um, and another battle. A Weedle. I think Aurora Beam is gonna be like one of my main uh, moves to use. Jeez. Oh, you're wearing the running shoes. They make you feel like you're flying, don't they? But beware of wild Pokemon and trainers. When you run, the noise will attract them. So you want to walk through the grass. This isn't... This is... Uh, we don't. Oh, we don't have the case yet. That's what it is. We don't have the Apricorn case. People usually come to my house when looking for Mr. Pokemon's house. You did not mean to visit my house, right? How kind of you. Do you have any apricorns? Apricorn trees bear fruit once a day. So, you know what? I think we're getting the case right now. I'm pretty sure. There it is. We got the box. We got the box right there. That is glorious. That is something else. So, let's go ahead and grab this apricorn right here. Boop, boop, boop. Let's just pop that thing out of there. Beautiful. It's a green apricorn. Oh, goodness. I used to love playing this game. I love this game so much. Let's continue onward. Let's just walk, though. Let's walk. We don't want to track the Pokemon. Oh, we got to have a... A Surskit! I'll find that Absorb right now. It'd be over. It'd be over, over. Let's go for the... Let's go for the knockoff, though. Let's go for the knockoff. How much is it going to do? That is pathetic damage. We have to run. We are running. See ya! Definitely. We have an Antidote. That's fun. A Pokemon can use its moves as long as there's PP left. When a, PP, a move has no longer any PP, you basically can't use it. I'm just going to translate. I'm going to... I'm going to shorten what he has to say. I just really want to get to Mr. Pokemon's house, and I really want to catch a few more Pokemon. I want to hatch some of your guys' eggs. That's the thing. I really want to just hatch eggs all day, every day. Um, and don't worry if your egg did not make it into the uh, boxes yet. There is going to be an egg hatching video at the end of this series, and everyone's egg will be hatched as long as they sent me an actual egg. Some eggs were messed up where they weren't even eggs. They were just, uh, they sent Pokemon and they weren't eggs, so those unfortunately fell to the wayside. And they will not be being hatched. So let's go ahead and uh, let's run. We're level 8 right now. We're doing pretty good. Oh, Cynthia! Wait, is Cynthia normally here? That's got to be a Dre. That's got to be just Dre. That's definitely got to be Dre. Still don't have Pokeballs, though. This is exciting. This is ridiculous. Um, Cynthia. She's a main character. Let's give her a voice. She, she probably sounds tough. Oh, hello. Mr. Pokemon said he was expecting a young trainer to arrive. Is your name Shady by any chance? I see. I guess you are the trainer Mr. Pokemon was expecting. My name is Cynthia. I'm a Pokemon trainer who hails from Sinnoh. Tell me, Shady, have you ever heard of the tales of the legendary trainer? You haven't? I'll briefly explain. 
This story tells the tales of how a trainer travels the land of Johto and Kanto, catching all Pokemon known to mankind. He captures the most bacon basic Pokemon, even the most mythical Pokemon, to eventually come face to face with the one who, call, who the Pokemon call God, Arceus. The archaeology in the Johto region appears to back the existence of this story. It's interesting to be sure. Thank you for listening to me, Shady. You know, you remind me of a trainer I knew from Sinnoh. You may not know it yet, but I think you are capable of great things. In fact, I'd like to help you reach your maximum potential. Here, let me give you a small gift. Boom! We get an Eevee! Um, okay, apparently you get a lot of gift Pokemon in this game, and those are not going to count as our um, encounters for those area. Uh, for example, um, we're still able to catch Pokemon over here. That's at least how I'm going to do it. I know that's, Maybe that's not how everyone does it, but I'm definitely going to do it. If you get a gift Pokemon, it's not going to count. Maybe if it's in a town, uh, we'll count it as the encounter for that town. But for the most part, gift Pokemon are just extra. They're, they're going to grace us with more eggs being hatched. The numerous possibilities of evolution for Eevee make it very, a very interesting Pokemon. I wonder what you'll decide to evolve Eevee into. Nothing! We're going to box it and get an egg. So uh, Cynthia's gone. We're going to go ahead and talk to Mr. Pokemon. Now, while Mr. Po oh, Oak is here. <laughs> You must be shady. I was the one who sent an email to Professor Elm earlier. Uh, yes, of course. Okay, that's fine. Yep, alright, cool. Um, this is what I want Professor Elm to examine. I got the mystery egg. Shady put the mystery egg. A friend of mine from Akrutiak City gave it to me. Oh, I didn't even say city. I bet you can't find this kind of egg in Johto. I thought Professor Elm might be able to tell what this is. He's the best when it comes to the research of Pokemon evolution. That's a quote from famous Professor Oak. You are returning to Professor Elm? Here, your Pokemon should have some rest. Let's have some rest. Let's do that. Let's have some rest. So he's Professor Oak. Oh, okay. Let's get back into this voice. And with that, I'm Professor Oak, a Pokemon researcher. So you're shady. I was just visiting my old friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I wanted here. So I waited here. I think that said wanted, but it's supposed to be waited. Oak, oh, what is this? A rare Pokemon, I must see. Oh, I see. I see. You must be helping Professor Elm's research. I think I understand why Professor Elm gave you that Pokemon. You will retreat your po you will treat your Pokemon with love and care. It seems I can't speak today. Ah, you seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See, this is the latest version of the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. I'd like you to have it. Boom shakalaka, we finally get the Pokedex like 30 minutes in, oh my goodness. Go meet many kinds of Pokemon and complete that Pokedex. But I've stayed too long. I have to go to Goldorad for my usual radio show. Radio show? Radio show? Sh radio show. <laughs> Shady, I have a feeling this is not the last time we will meet. Hey, let's exchange numbers to be on the safe side. He wants to make sure he meets me. He wants to make sure we meet again. Wants to make sure. So let's go ahead. Kabuto is dancing around, singing songs, wants to return, you, Envy seems to want to return to the lab. Let's go, let's go back to the lab then. We still have not gotten Pokeball, see Professor Elm. Hello, Shady, it's a disaster, Elm. I'm just terrible, what should I do, uh, please get back here now. So we gotta hurry up and go back. Normally, uh, Pokemon episode number ones are short, like of Let's Plays, but now? No way, we're actually gonna use the speed up button to our, uh, to our advantage right now. Let's use let's 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 get some uh, let's get some nice experience in. Because uh this episode is going pretty long. And right now we're just trying to run through this field of terror. This is not what you guys want to see. Um, and we're already here. Boom shakalaka, that is amazing. Alright. Now I am gonna do I have to heal up? No, we're fine. We have an SP token. Ooh! We get to hatch another egg though, that's exciting. That is awesome. So let's go ahead, let's deposit this EV right here. And uh, let's go ahead and choose a new egg. We're going to go to box number two this time. And we're going to just... No, stay in, stay in the box. Stay in the box. Hold on. Am I even in box number two right now? Stay in, all right. I'm in box number two. All right, cool. Right there. Where are we? We're on the party. I'm using the mouse. Right, let's stop right there. What's that? All right. Another Japanese one. I'm not you. I'm sorry. I'm not going to choose a Japanese one. Let's just, you know, let's just look. Let's just look. Remails. Remails sounds interesting. Let's go to Remails. I don't know what the, I have no idea what the nickname Remails could be, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and choose that. I just wanted to choose one that actually had a nickname so we can get a little bit attached to it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So let's just, let's hatch this thing really quick. Let's run back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. There it is. Oh, let's see what this is going to be. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. 
We have ourselves a Riolu. That is awesome. And your name was Remail, so we're gonna we're gonna keep that nickname. Yes, your nickname will be Remails. I don't understand the nickname, but I'm happy to have a Riolu. That is awesome. Such a great Pokemon. Oh my goodness. It's gonna be power. We're gonna take a look at what egg moves it has. Oh my goodness. This could be this could be good. This could be bad. Let's go ahead. It is a jolly nature with quick attack, foresight, endure, and bullet punch. It has bullet punch. Awesome. So we don't have that steel typing yet, but we do have quick attack. Um, and we can go ahead and uh, we can rare candy this thing up. Our Eevee was level five. So let's go ahead and rare candy remails up to level five. And that is going to be that. Um, let's continue on. We are going to head back to the lab uh, to end up this episode. But before we end this episode, I love this music. You got a Pokemon at the lab. What a waste. That's a Pokemon that's too good for a wimp like you. Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. So we're going up against um, our rival. We don't have a name for our rival yet. I think I know what I want to name it though. I think I do. Passerby Boy. Cyndaquil comes out, and that's actually great because our Envy resists its stab times uh, times a lot. So we can actually go ahead. We're gonna confuse this little bugger right here. Bloop, 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 bloop. And uh, the ducks are gonna dance around Cyndaquil's head, and we can go ahead. You're gonna hit yourself. You're gonna hit yourself. You're gonna hit yourself. You're gonna hit. Come on! All right. So it didn't hit us. It didn't hit itself, unfortunately. And uh, let's go ahead and go for the Aurora Beam. I know you resist it, but it's still going to do more than knockoff, I think. Um, I'm not entirely sure. We'll see how much it does. Probably does about the same. You're confused. I need you to hit yourself, please. Nope. You're going to use Tackle. I resist that, too. Oh, my gosh. Envy is such power early game. Oh, my goodness. That is amazing. So, unfortunately, uh, the nickname Envy doesn't make much sense anymore because it's actually not shiny. But you know what? We know in our hearts... Envy is shiny to us, so knockoff does do more. We're gonna be able to take the Cyndaquil out right now with Envy. And give ourselves a nice, nice dose of experience. That is awesome. Huh, are you happy you won? Do you want to know who I am? I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. Cool guy McGee voice over here. What did you drop your wallet? What did you do? Give it back! That's my trainer card! Oh no, you saw my name! Yeah, you better leave. You better run. I know your name. Your name is... I don't know what your name is yet. Not gonna lie. I kind of want a nickname... I kind of want to name my rival Nappy. Because I'm currently his rival in the uh, Egg Lock. In his, I mean, sorry, in his Wonder Lock. And I figure, you know, that'd be nice. It's, it, I mean, Nappy is my rival. Let's be honest. He's my friend. But I think... I think I'm actually gonna name my rival David, because why the heck not? I really want to name my rival David because he was really mad that I was doing this LP. So, you know what? Here's a little ode to David. Who are you? We are investigating the case of the missing Pokemon here. Rule number one, whoever did it will come back to the site. Oh my, so you must be the one who did it? And here's Lyra, soft-spoken as ever. Hold on a second, he has nothing to do with it. I saw it, there was a red-haired boy looking into the building. What? You battled a boy like that? He must be the one who did it. Did you happen to get his name? Yes, I did, and his name is David. He's a Pokemon thief, and he cares about no one but himself and booty. Those are the only two things David cares about, booty and himself, and finding booty for himself. That's really it. I see, so David was his name? Yes, David was his name. Thanks for helping my investigation. My next assignment is to search for this red-haired individual. He's a thief! He's a thief! Unbelievable. Shady, I'm glad they understand you are innocent. See you later. I feel like she doesn't talk enough to me. That's it. She's just out. I like that in the lady. Just peace out. Shady, this is terrible. Oh, yes. What was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? Hand over that mystery egg. Wasn't even in my party, but whatever. Huh? This is an egg, isn't it? This must... This egg may be something I've never seen. Still, it's just an egg. Mr. Pokemon is always fascinated by eggs. Well, since he gave it to us, we might as well hold on to see the secrets that it holds. I'll keep it for a while to find out about the egg. What? Professor Oak gave you a Pokedex. Shady, is this true? That's incredible. He is superb at seeing the potential of people as trainers. Wow, Shady, I knew you were a little different. Things are going to be fun. Your Pokemon seem to really like you, so why don't you take the Pokemon Gym Challenge? If you manage to defeat all the gym leaders, you'll eventually challenge the Pokemon League champion. Or not. Ha 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 ha. Becoming a champion is not easy at all, but you certainly cha you can certainly challenge Violet City's gym. All right, so that's what we're going to do. That's what we're gonna do. It's gonna be a long journey. 
and we got to talk to our mother first. Of course we got to talk to mom. We always got to talk to mom. Mom's always so nosy about what we're doing. I don't understand. What's the big deal, mom? I'm like seven. I want to go on an adventure. I'm not even, you know what? You disrespected me the last time we spoke. You're gonna save my money, aren't you? You're gonna steal my money. No, I don't want you to because you're just gonna spend it on pointless crap. She spends it on like potions when I have like super potions already. She buys dolls when I don't even have, I don't even come back to my room. So I don't, I'm not, you're not, no. So what we're gonna do really quick to end this episode off, um, here's Lyra. There you are. She's gonna talk more to us now. I, I regret what I said, I regret it. Shady, you can catch wild Pokemon with Pokeballs. Follow me. Please tell me you took this out, Dre. Please tell me you took this out, Dre. What? 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 Yes. Yes, we're not actually going into the animation. That is awesome. Just like that. Huh? Was I too fast? I'll try again. Come this way. No. Yes. You know, I bet you know already. Yes, I do know already. And I got my Pokeballs. So what we're going to do here is we are at the very least going to catch... Uh, we're going to catch our Pokemon so that we can grind up a little bit. Well, we don't even have to grind up, really. I'm not sure we'll have to do. I'm gonna take a look at the notes. Maybe there'll be a little bit grinding for the next episode. I don't know. But here we go. Our first token capture. Let's go ahead and catch this bad boy. Actually, having Envy is really good because uh, Knockoff does not do a lot of damage at all. Um, it did a decent amount to that. Oh my goodness. But we're gonna catch this Pokemon right here. Boom, Wurmple was caught. We're gonna get that and we're gonna name you an SP token. SPT. Oh. K. Okay. E -N. So we have another token and we're gonna get a total of three tokens here to be honest with you Because um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna leave this area in this twilight realm of doom And uh, we're not gonna fight you because we're up. Oh, there's the graphical errors I was talking about um, and that's normal for the game. That is normal. Look now. We're back to normal That is just normal for hacks apparently uh, we can grab that apricorn actually And I kind of I think this guy's gonna want to battle. I'm gonna go ahead and put remails out front and uh, look at Riolu uh, he's waiting for Pokemon that only appear at night, actually. That's what he's doing. Let's go ahead and, uh, we're in Cherry Grove City. You know what we can do? We can actually use our old rod, and we can catch Pokemon in here. This is great. We're gonna have so many Pokemon to start out with. That is awesome. Let's go to our key items and go for the old rod and use it. Whew. I landed a Pokemon. Here we go. All right, look. Oh, I like that little, that water animation. It's a Magikarp. That's fine. That's fine. That is fine by me. Let's go ahead and go for a uh, quick attack. I scored a crit, and this Magikarp knows Bubble. What? This Magikarp knows Bubble? Are you kidding me? That's blowing me away right now. Go for the quick attack. Do not score a crit. And the Nuzlocke has started. This Magikarp knows Reversal. Oh my gosh, because it's the Dre hack. I forgot. Oh, that's right. Things are different. That is awesome. Uh, notice that we started out with 15 Pokeballs as well. We caught this Magikarp easy mode. Let's go ahead and go for SP token again. S oh, that's that's capital O. We don't like that. My OCD would be very unappreciative of that. Female Magikarp. And before we get our eggs, we're actually going to go and catch one more Pokemon on Route 30. So we got one on Route 29 in Cherry Grove City and on Route 30. That is awesome. It's a low tad. And uh, Remails, can you just take care of this? Can we just go for a quick attack? Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't like that. I don't like, you know, we're just gonna try to catch you because I'm scared now. Nope, okay, we do have to, we do have to hit you. Luckily, the growl happened and made it easier for us not to kill him. We got the low tad, which is gonna be another SP token. Um, I know I'm using the speed up button just a little bit right now, but I don't think uh, I don't think you guys mind that that much to be honest with you guys It's not like I'm battling important battles. I'm just trying to get our team together. We actually have what? I think we have three Pokemon we get to trade in right now That's one two three all tokens. Let's deposit you into uh, the SP token. That's one deposit two and Deposit that's three so we get three eggs right now we're going to, I don't know why I went to deposit instead of move. We're going to go to box number three and we're just going to choose, uh, we're going to choose this one, whatever this one is. Japanese name, unfortunately, uh, it really stinks that that's happening, but you know what? It's where we're going to roll with it. These are still the eggs you guys sent me. So let's go ahead and go for another one. Let's, uh, let's go, let's go, you know, let's go four down. One, two, three, four. That's all the way down. Let's go two over. One, two. Socks. We're going to get socks. That's how I'm going to do it from now on. Let's go, uh... 
You know what we could do? We could roll a die. Oh, oh you know what? I have a die right here, don't I? Where's my die? That's what I'm gonna do for the rest of this. The first roll is gonna be how many we go down. If it's six, it'll be line one. Uh, so one has a double chance of getting it. Six will be a re-roll. So let's see. First roll is one, so we're gonna stay on line one. And then second roll is, uh, there's no reason for me to lie about this. I just dropped the die. It's number two. So let's go ahead and go right to the second egg. And it's a Japanese name again, unfortunately. Um, but it's fine. Look, there's a bunch of regular ones in here too, so it has an even chance. Ooh, there's a lot in here. But uh, we did get two Japanese names, which means we're gonna have to think of nicknames. Uh, which I don't like doing, but we're fine with it. We're fine with it. We're gonna do it. Let's just hatch these eggs. Come on, Riolu wants a friend. Oh, I probably should have done that one at a time. But what we'll do is the first egg that hatches will be for, um, will be for the Wurple. And the second egg, so we have level five, level six, and level four. So in that order is what we'll wear candy, level five, six, and four. And we're just gonna go ahead and wait. We're gonna go ahead and wait. Oh, here we go. Here we go. A Swinum. Um, I have no idea. You know what, we have to name this Ice Ice Baby. Cause I know this wasn't socks. I'm positive this wasn't socks. Worst case scenario, if it was socks, we'll be able to check and we can actually um, change it in PokeGen. I don't know why I'm saying uh, Minna. We're gonna name you Ice Ice. Because if you guys watch Road to Rank, you watch in my battles, Ice Ice Baby is a champion. Is a champion. Ice Ice Baby, it just fits. Oh, that's amazing, that's perfect. Let's go ahead, Ice Ice Baby. Uh, let's just check our Pokemon out, make sure Socks is still there. Socks is still there. I'm definitely gonna do these one at a time from now on. Oh, so you get rare candy to level five. Uh, level five, it was five, six, and four. So let's go up to level five. One, two, four, Mud Sport. Well, let's see his moves now. Ancient Power, Body Slam, a broken move, and Ice School Spear. So we're gonna get rid of that broken move. Um, looks like something had messed up when they made the egg, and I think we have one more level. Let's go to level five. There it is. Boom. So let's go ahead and hatch another egg. Come on. You know what? I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna deposit um the Japanese egg really quick, so that I know for a fact whoever hatches his socks. I don't want to mess up that nickname and have to use Jen. So here we go. Socks is hatching, and it is. Ooh, a trap pinch named Socks. It looks shiny now. I don't know if it's gonna be shiny, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and name it Socks. So we're having we're having a pretty uh, pretty uh, balanced team right now. I feel like we have our we have a possible dragon Pokemon. Uh, and the thing is with this, we're gonna get so many Pokemon that we're gonna be able to trade out and actually make a really balanced team, which is gonna be awesome because that's gonna be so different from the Shady Lock. It's gonna be so different. So let's go ahead. And, okay, finally this egg wants to hatch this Japanese looking egg. What are you gonna be? Come on, be something good, be something good, be something good. A Charmander! Yes! Oh, that's awesome, that is great, that is fantastic. Thank you for sending it a Charmander, whoever did that. Yes, I will nickname you. You are a female Charmander. I'm gonna name you, um, let's see. Charmander, female, Charizard. Um, Charizard was disobedient. I'm gonna name you Rihanna. I don't know how to spell Rihanna. Um, I think that's how you spell Rihanna. I'm gonna look it up. I don't want to be an idiot. Rihanna. Oh, there's an H in there. Rihanna. 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 Who would have guessed it's Rihanna? Who would have known that? No white guy, that's for sure. We're gonna name you Rihanna. And if you don't understand why, it's fine. But Rihanna the Charizard is a real thing, guys. It is a real thing. That is awesome. Oh my gosh. Alright, so that is gonna be it for this episode, actually. We're gonna go over... Oh, we actually have to level up... Um... Level up our Pokemon. This was gonna be level six. And Rihanna's unfortunately gonna be the level four one, as we already said. Um, and there's level four. So Rihanna gets to level four. We're gonna take a look at Trap Pinch and Rihanna, uh, Socks and Rihanna a little bit more. This is a Jolly Nature. It has a Quick Attack, Gust, Mud Shot, and Focus Energy. And Rihanna has Solar Power um, with Dragon Pulse, Ancient Power, and Air Cutter. So it's a relaxed nature. Um, so it could be a mixed Charizard. Look at that. Interesting. Relaxed nature. All right, cool. Well, that's going to bring us to the end of this episode. We're going to heal up and call it a day. I want to thank you guys so much for sticking through. 
uh, the first episode of our Storm Silver Egglock. I'm really excited. We have a lot going on. I'm probably going to, in between episodes, get everyone up to Envy's level. I'm going to do a level 8. There'll be a little grinding montage to open up the next episode. Uh, if you enjoyed this, and if you're going to be enjoying this, please make sure you click that like button right below this video. Leave a comment. Who is your favorite Pokemon out of the five that we have right now? Who's going to be your MVP of the series? Who are you cheering on? Because uh, people die in this. Who knows? Have yourselves a good day. But above all else, keep it shady.